Oh no, it's Typhoid. Oh, hello friends. Good to see you all. But the bad news is, one of my patients is diagnosed with a disease called Typhoid Fever. But don't worry friends, I'll make sure to spread awareness about this illness so that no one can fall for it again. So, in today's episode, I'll explain to you the reason behind this condition and answer a very, very, very important question. What causes typhoid? Zoom in! Typhoid is a deadly bacterial infection caused by a bacteria called Salmonella typhi. Mostly found in contaminated food, water and sewage. But it's not just your regular fever or viral infection. Typhoid could be very dangerous and can spread infection in your organs and can tear holes in your intestines. But the vital question is, how? You see, when someone namely consumes contaminated food or water, Salmonella typhi enters their body and makes the way to the stomach. Over there, in most cases, in a healthy person, the stomach acids will immediately react and kill the unwelcomed bacteria. Thus, the person won't fall sick. But when someone's stomach does not produce ample acids to kill these bacteria, the Salmonella makes the most of this opportunity and rushes to the small intestine where they enter the cells lining the intestine. This activates a strong immune response leading to inflammation of cells which can create tiny holes in the intestines causing intestinal contents to leak into your abdominal cavity making the infected person extremely sick. Wait, it doesn't stop there. Then these cunning bacteria enter the lymphoid tissues, which are the part of the body's immune system that is important for the immune response and helps protect it from infection and foreign bodies. And after that, the Salmonella typhi quietly makes their way into the bloodstream and finally spreading to the other organs like liver, bone marrow, and even your heart and brain, leading to symptoms like headache, loss of appetite, body ache and diarrhea. Diarrhea helps these bacteria to come out of its human host and spreads into the environment with poor sanitation, looking for new victims. But don't you worry my friends, as typhoid can be treated with the help of modern and advanced medicines and vaccines. But even if you have been vaccinated, they are not entirely effective and lose effectiveness over time. So, it is essential to take precautions to protect ourselves from these evil bacteria. Just make sure to wash your hands with warm soapy water before you eat food and after using the toilet. Don't forget to boil or disinfect any water that will be used for drinking and avoid eating raw food from street vendors. It's more likely to be contaminated. Trivia time! Did you know Irish cook Mary Mallon was dubbed Typhoid Mary by the media after she infected dozens of people with the dreaded disease? Yes, she was the first identified person who carried and spread the disease without ever exhibiting the symptoms. It is said at least 3 deaths and 53 cases of typhoid were directly connected to her, with thousands of other probable cases. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Whoa! Ah, oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, 
don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!